Okay, we're gonna go through my vocal transformation of a span of over 10 years. We're gonna go through some old clips. I'm gonna react to some cringy videos of me singing from many years ago. But before we do that, I just wanna say this video is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends, the greatest free RPG mobile game in the world. You've definitely seen Raid pretty much everywhere on the internet. And if you say you haven't, you're lying because it's just that good of a game that everyone's talking about it because the graphics are amazing. It's so engaging. The storyline really pulls me in and I'm not even really a gamer I'm a non gamer you get to be these badass champions would you with this guy I wouldn't look at this woman that's a real lady sometimes I get sick of being a badass guy I just want to be a girl so if you download raid right at the link in the description you could find me my nickname is 10 second man it's not as unfortunate as it sounds I can get a lot done in 10 seconds and you also get 50,000 silver for free plus a free epic champion in the new player program so do that because in doing so you support a content creator like myself by supporting the sponsors that help make videos like this possible especially in the dark age of copyright claims all right that's enough let's get into my vocal transformation before I started singing, back when I was in high school, I was a bassist. So I played bass for a band called Rotten Pain. We were a metal band. Now I'm going to play a Rotten Pain video because this really laid down the foundation for me as a musician and where I would go next. Without this, I don't think my journey would be the same. There I am right there. There I am. By the way, the singer of this band is Tim Gorgon. He sang for the band Within the Ruins. A lot of you may know who Within the Ruins is. He was my first singer. <laughs> there, look at that. Look at my legs. Skinny, skinny legs, boy. My, I still have that hat someplace. That horned hat. I gotta find it, though. Maybe I'll wear it for another video. No, I'm, there I am. <laughs> there I am. Who knew that would be the face of the 10 second man? Look at my face compared to that that young, smooth face right there. I think I must have been, what, 16, 17 years old at the time? After Brought and Pain broke up, because a lot of bands tend to break up, it kind of uh, led me to experiment on my own, and I figured out how to record some things, and I used Cool Edit Pro to make my first recording, and that first recording was a song called Effects of Truth. <laughs> I did an Only the Lonely cover, too. Only the I got a little better. I, I had this crazy idea that I wanted to be a singer off of these promising recordings that I made of myself. That's when I started Set the Charge. At the time, I had this weird vocal direction where I didn't project my voice at all. It was just like a... YouTube started around 2006. I was still working on developing my production skills, I guess you could say. Be on the lookout for this. It's gonna be fun. We're having a good time. You know, who's we? Me. Set the charge. And then I saw some people start putting up cover songs on YouTube and it made me curious about doing the same So I started to upload cover songs on my very first YouTube channel Mama told me when I was young, Come sit beside me my own song. I don't know why I thought I was good and simple, All throat Hear that? Like, be a simple! You know, it's like, and be a simple kind of man. I wish you could just go back and say, dude, just do that, man. Be simple. Flat, flat. You don't even look good when you sing. It's from Step Brothers. Flat. You don't even look good while you're singing. The worst thing I've ever heard. Sometimes. 
comes, I feel the fear of uncertainty stinging the Thank you, Bruce. And I can't help but ask myself how much I let the fear take the Such a pretty boy, aren't I? Whatever tomorrow Come on, man. I'll be there. Put more, more. Come on. Whatever. Tomorrow brings I'll be there With open arms And open eyes, yeah Whatever Tomorrow brings I'll be there I'll be there oh. Then it was the first attempt To put out a real production And I wanted to get 100,000 views I remember that was, the, that was the big idea In my mind, I'm gonna get 100,000 views On this video, so we took Kanye West Heartless, and we did our cover of Kanye West Heartless. Our cover meaning set the charge. Okay. Ah! All right, that's it. Clearly that didn't go as planned and we got made fun of more than more than we even came close to the goal of hitting 100,000 views. <laughs> So it's like, escape from this, I was like, escape from this afterlife, this time I'm right. I was like, uh, find your way, hope you find your way, me you never. It's guides. I was finally able to achieve my dream of getting my first video hitting a hundred thousand views, like how I wanted to do with Heartless. I can't tell you what it really is. I can only tell you what it feels like. And right now, there's a steel knife in my windpipe. I can't breathe, but I still fight. Well, I can't fight as long as the wrong feels right. It's like I'm in flight. I started to kind of get into making a lot of cover songs with, like, I guess, better production value, like music videos and stuff for Set the Charge. This was around the time that I was, uh, that I showed that embarrassing clip of me screwing up man in the box at the park oh boy that was also around the time that I could actually sing man in the box not that bad it's just that when it came to getting in front of people I I'd choke a lot I think this was about a year or so later we did like a karaoke night and we actually caught it on tape of me singing man in the box and doing it way better
shortly after that, I started my account on Fiverr.com. Hey, write a song, 10 seconds in length, and I could sing it in any style imaginable for five bucks, exclusively on Fiverr. Here are some of your 10 second songs. Wendy, you can't take a call, you must be feeling like shit. I hope this kick ass song helps you get over it. Feel better, sound Wendy! Sandra, you're the greatest mom to kind of mind. Basically, I did custom songs for people. That was my thing, and it actually did well. So anyway, I went and I made a YouTube channel to promote this on a bigger scale so that I can take it to the next level. And the first video I put up was Dark Horse and 20 Styles. So you know about that, though. A lot of you know about that. I feel like I'm telling the story a million times. Before I got to that point, it's important to know that right when I started my Fiverr channel and I was gaining all this experience doing stuff in different styles, the one thing that took me to the next level as a vocalist was I got contacted one day randomly in like 2012 by uh, the Trans-Siberian Orchestra to potentially try out for them because they saw a video I did. I actually went and I had like this audition over in the city. I didn't really do well. Instead of being discouraged, I was actually really hungry to want to be a professional singer. So I did a lot of research online and that's when I found my mentor, Ken Tamplin, and I went through his course. I still feel like I'm, 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 there's so much room for improvement, you know, as a, as a vocalist. Like I, I don't consider myself a, like a master of my craft. I'm just, I'm, I'm still learning. I work hard every day of my life. I work to lying my bones at the end. Even with going through some form of vocal training, when I found the course that ended up making it possible for me to develop and take my voice a little bit further, even though I've never had a physical vocal lesson, it still takes a lot, a lot of time and a lot of perfecting, and I still don't feel I've gotten there yet. The minute you start thinking that you're a master at, at your craft, that's when you stop growing altogether, and there's always room for improvement and pushing boundaries, and I've so far made a career out of doing push out of doing that pushing boundaries and now here we are in the year 2019 where you've pretty much been caught up on my history those of you who are out there and you're singing at the level that maybe i was in 2006 just keep going that's it a lot of trial and error i didn't think i was going to be in the position that i'm in right now back then but uh here i am and i got uh, a ways to go i'll do a part two of this video when i'm even better than i am now 10 years from now until then, be on the lookout for some more material here on the 10 Second Songs channel. Please be sure to subscribe, click get notifications, hit the bell, do whatever you need to do to stay up to date. I'll see you next time.